You all right, Fergus? How's the arm? Please. Please help me. What happened to your face? I think she's trying to kill me, Blasco. Last one. Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep, only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm, savagely gobbing you in the eye? Had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you, I don't think I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. Maybe it's like training a game dog to show weakness in the pounds. What you gotta do is show that thing who's in charge. Right, right. Well, you just uh, stand there and be ready to step in in case it uh, looks like I'm about to die. Establish contact there and let them know our helicopters are friendly. I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, we'll need to approach from ground level then. Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. Ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Yeah, well, this one. Well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. You do it then, Blasco. Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Bombard him. Drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? What do we know, lass? Can you? Five degrees pot. Umsan continues. Straight forward. Got you, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles. He's not New York underground, crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas. Find your way through the bombed out city and reach the state building. Faster the better. Fergus out.
Helden habe ich. Ganz genau. Es war nur etwas schwierig, eine ehrfürchtige Pose aufrechtzuerhalten, weil wir andauernd out.
See if there's some way to power up this old train. William, do you read? If you are on 5th Avenue, the State Building should be near.
the state building and make contact with the resistance group. Look for elevators, stairs, anything. The radiation <laughs> levels should be acceptable at the top of the building. Your voice, on you. Every second. A glory. make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? When you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig, then you either colored or you're a deviant. Are you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? He looked like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Oh, fucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now. Or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Ladies, <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Uh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh, oh. Chili, you okay? It's my papa's recipe. He ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fats? Chicken fats? <laughs> that's, that's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Get out. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time. When I came up, looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno. You know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams that went through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms, and they just drooped. 
like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. And why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of bad assery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, Special? There's pigs, lots of them, coming up the stairs. They're like a fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya, we're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on! Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white ass fascist Nazi pigs. You're such a little grave. 
this with your little gray. We gotta set this right, Grace. Put the fighting spirit back in the American people. Ignite a revolution. Shit. We've been fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? <laughs> they done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz! You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit! Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right! <laughs> What do you think about this, man, Mike? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. So this is where all the decisions are made. Huh. We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Smash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please, you ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me Englishman. Okay, you wanna step to me, motherfucker, you wanna get shit done. Cause I'm gay either way. Don't, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. Oh, you got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around. Find a place to bunk and get to know the boat folk. And hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Okay, now. Well, uh, what the kind lady said. Follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed up the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Last minute, you know how to swim? 